Standing here outside the Superior Courthouse, where a bomb threat was called in just before lunch today, emergency responders arrived on the scene and the courthouse was evacuated. This morning about 10.39, we received a uh, call from the probation office and they, they notified us that they uh, uh, had received an anonymous uh, call stating that there was a bomb that was going to go off in about 10 minutes uh, uh, from that time that they received it. So what we did is uh, just went on and evacuated all of the uh, employees of the building. We notified the first responders, 911 and civil defense, and they sent over a K-9 team of bomb dogs. And the bomb dogs had alerted to um, one of the vehicles in the parking lot, then activated the EOD. The dogs detected an explosive scent on one of the vehicles in the court lot. All of the roadways surrounding the courthouse were blocked off and officers were rerouting traffic to maintain a safe distance. It looks like there's some kind of a uh, scare or uh, maybe something going on. They're rerouting traffic uh, all around the courthouse. I live up at the top of the Ganya Heights and I'm trying to figure out how to get there. The military EOD unit came and inspected the vehicle and it was determined to be safe. The bomb unit also did a full sweep of the interior of the courthouse and determined it was all clear. This is not the first bomb threat that the courthouse has received but Leon Guerrero states that each one is evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. With this latest threat, the caller gave everyone 10 minutes before the bomb would detonate, so they had to evacuate the building and act quickly. First it started at the old court building where the probation's at, so... Uh -huh. And then, I guess the main, the main court, we suddenly come out and uh, let us know, get out as quick as we can, so... While no explosive device was found in today's threat, Emergency responders were well equipped to deal with the situation, even if one was discovered. As the military EOD is the only bomb unit on island, they work regularly with local law enforcement to prepare for situations like this. Thanks to joint efforts of local and military responders, no one was injured and the situation was defused as soon as possible. Keep me a local for Guam News Watch. I'm Chris Pinko.